J. Cole and Drake saying like the yeah. big three and then Kendrick. J. Cole dropped the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, and that's also another thing we'll talk about too. Um, but Kendrick is like, no, it's just like, there is no three, it's just me. Mm-hmm. And everybody, again, everybody has their own opinions if he's right to say that or not. Um, the big three. That's what he was saying. No, like basically, no, there is no big three. It's just me. So they were saying like, the I'm big three King. right now is Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick. Yeah, it's what Kendrick, I mean, sorry, which was what Drake and J. Cole, J. Cole were saying on the song. Okay. Cause I, so I didn't know that. That's interesting. So first off, I wouldn't put Drake and J. Cole in the top three rappers right See, now. That, and that's also really controversial for you to say that too, because I would at least put J. Cole up there. I, I would back in the day. I used to love J. Cole so much, like two albums ago. I was obsessed with him. I still love the one album with Wet Dreams on it. I can't remember what it's called, though, off the top of my head. But I love... Forest it. Hills? Yes. I love that album. It is one of my favorite albums. But if you're talking about modern day rappers right now, I think Drake peaked on Take Care. I don't think he's made a great album since. he's He's had good songs. Yeah. But nothing that's like... Shit, I'm gonna listen to the whole album. You gotta sell me on that. Yeah, Kendrick, I listened to the entire album every single time. Yeah, but they're also two do two very different artists. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, and that's where I mean, you would not like the days of actually want at least for me sitting and listening to a full Drake album. Not really interested in it. But to say that he actually has like. He's not putting out great singles. Mm-hmm. He does, but he puts that, out good but singles. But that's where he, where Drake is. He is a rap pop artist. He's not a full rapper like that. Another thing about Drake too is that even though Family Matters is great of a song, Drake is also known to be using ghostwriters. Yeah, which is a big thing, right? And so I love all the memes on that. Right, there's that whole aspect of it as well. I I could put Yeah. I could maybe I could probably put Drake as one of the best. I could put him as one of the best for a specific reason. Um he's essentially like the Michael Jackson of our time in a, in a way. Like how much he has Excuse the fuck out of me. What did you just say? I mean, finish your thing, but Yeah, our modern day Michael Jackson. Man, I think you're fucking crazy. Who would you who would you switch out for that? No one. I don't think there is another Michael Jackson. No, I'm not saying that there ever is from his caliber, but to say a modern day, absolutely, because of just how much of a pop artist he is. I don't know. I don't know if I could go with that. I don't. I just like putting Drake and Michael Jackson in the same vein. Okay, I see. I see what yeah, you. Yeah, I know what just, you mean. Yeah, I'm not comparing the two. No, yeah. I'm just saying from, again, how Like much. a cultural standpoint? Yes. Okay. That makes more sense. Yes. I can see that. Um, I'm trying to still think of my big three to, like, knock out. Uh, I, I still go Kendrick. Like, I, like Kendrick is king. Yeah. I, I genuinely think so. I wanted to say Travis Scott. Like, I've never been the biggest fan of him, but I really liked Utopia. I really liked Utopia. Like, if you ask me, who do you like more as an artist, Drake or Travis Scott, I'd... I listen to probably more Travis Scott than Drake, Mm -hmm. but Drake is producing more hits. The numbers don't lie. Yeah, I mean you're not wrong on the numbers. Yeah, because it's I'm saying it it all come. If we're looking at number wise, top three. Yeah, I think those three are the ones to say. As a personal preference, yeah, who would you say is the top three? And they have to be like currently working right now. Like it can't be someone that passed away. Uh, Yeah, absolutely. But I mean. So, like, modern day, because if you ask me, I mean, people that are still alive, I would put Nas up there still. Okay. That's a good thing. But pick. he's also not a very, he's still, to this day, still making great music. He's a freaking mm-hmm. word wizard. But then there's also artists that I really enjoy that are not really well known, like Atmosphere, uh, Aesop, not ASAP, Aesop Rock. Um, huge fan of Aesop Rock. So there's a lot of rappers, I mean, I would say are better from a personal preference, but I mean, numbers don't lie kind of perspective. I would say that those three are accurate. Okay. Fair enough. Modern day right now. Modern day. Yeah. But what is my personal preference Mm -hmm. and which do I think is actually 
and uh, from an unbiased standpoint, a better lyricist and rapper, I would say Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick is. <laughs> but I'm not saying that J Cole isn't. A no, great and one. as I've <laughs> kind of been going through, I, I would still keep J Cole there, e- even if I didn't like love the last two albums of his. I would still keep him up there. And that's also another thing about J Cole is that he's not creating super poppy songs. They're no. very heavy in the lyrics, and that's where like. This is, I'm the, happy, J. Cole. This out this article says J. Cole, a poet of the people. That that's well, I, I I think personally like that's a that's a great thing. I'm gonna shout out a rhyme junkie. That that that's what they put. Rhyme there. junkie. Yeah. The website. Yeah. Oh, that's another. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's another. I mean, Lil Wayne. Yeah. Honestly, though, I'd probably put Lil Wayne over Drake. I would put Lil Wayne over Drake as well. So I guess that would be my top three. Kendrick, uh, J. Cole, Little Wayne. Yes, absolutely. And specifically, like what Little Wayne's done. And even though Little Wayne has been rapping since he was like 16. 